Okay, so Elegoo just released a new slicer, Satellite it's called it seems. It's only for Windows right now, but I have a, a Windows laptop here and for Mac it's coming soon it says. So let's look at this software and download that. Okay, so there we have it, the Eligo software itself. Now you get a code with it for the Voxel Dance Tango software, so you can get that for free with Eligo, but perhaps they'll discontinue that now they have their own slicer. And here you can set up your devices. So you can even do different devices with this one software, so they aren't limited to Eligo. So I have different devices, the Mars 5 here, and now the Saturn. Uh, this is how you can set that up. It takes you through the steps, so that's pretty nice. Now we're here in the slicer software, a model, cube, create, oh, and that creates that top toolbar here. Automatic support, that's nice. And then you can slice that and save it. Okay, so there we have it. Okay, so let's set this up for real. A new device, it seems here at start. Then the Eligo Saturn 4, this one we're using. You can set all the uh, resin and parameters. Going to keep this to standard. Prepare. Let's delete that cube. And then I think we will need to download our files. I was looking for like a Pokemon chess set. So let's download these files. You can go to Thingiverse and then search there. So this was like a Pokemon chess set. That I searched for, and you get all kinds of things here on Thingiverse. I think that's the best one to get, like these designs. Um, and then we have the Eligo there. We've downloaded our designs. So we have all our designs here. Now we should be able to open them with this new Eligo satellite app. Oh, let's start a new project here. Okay, so here's our base. Okay, so here's our king. Ooh. Add supports here. Automatic supports. And you can see your printer. You can easily select that here from the once you add it. So it also changes the base right here. If I go to like the Mars one, it changes the base. You can see that's a lot smaller than this Saturn one. You can select that and then move that around. Go ahead. And move that to the platform center and also scale it so you can make sure that fits in with your with your chessboard or other things that you want to do so this is this is two centimeters wide that should suffice okay so i'm not loving that i can't seem to move it oh, i can turn it but oh i can grab it here so it's not very intuitive but it does work Move that over there and then open another file. Here's the Pikachu. Twenty as well. Move that over here. Okay, so now I have all my game pieces on there. I should be able to slice this. And save that sliced file. Pokemon Chess. Elegoo slice files. Okay, so I have a goo file, Pokemon Chess. I can now put that on my USB stick that I got with it. Okay, so now I have all my game pieces on there. I should be able to slice this. And save that sliced file. 
Elgoo slash files. Okay, so I have a goo file, Pokemon chest. I can now put that on my USB stick that I got with it. And we should now be good to go with this USB stick. So let's plug in our Elegoo Saturn. So right over here, we have the different plugs, a DC here for our power brick and the USB. So we can stick that USB in there. And also the power switch. So let's turn that on. Okay, so there it is, device self-test. So let's close this one up. Okay, and so we can select the prints here. Printing test, slicing software, and the Pokemon chest right here that we put on that stick. It immediately recognizes that. And you can also see the, all the characters there. This is what you're going to be printing. It should take about three hours to print all of this. That's what it says. So let's go ahead and start that. So automatic detection for resin in the vet, in the reservoir there. So that's cool. So, well, you shouldn't be in the room while you're using this to print because of all the toxins. That's really not recommended. So put this somewhere where uh, it doesn't bother you, uh, preferably uh, outside like the shed or something, or here in my workroom that I don't need to use all the time. So let's come back to this when it's fully done printing. And there they are. Now that that has stopped dripping, you can safely take this off by unclipping that. And look at those. It looks so nice. And added to the chessboard, it looks even better. It's really, really cool and a unique design here. And now we should be able to scrape these off. Let's see. Yep. And here is our, our piece. Look at the detail there. Really, really cool. So it is, well, quite easy to get started with, like this uh, Saturn from Eligo. It's quite cool to get into resin printing with this one. So I would have liked to have seen Wi-Fi in there so you can just print directly from your computer, but putting it on the USB stick that you get with it, it's also not that much of a hassle. So I really recommend.